hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys the fact that they have felt the need to come out and deny it speaks to exactly why there might be a grain of truth to it so with that guys i bring you this buhari denies sidelining oshibanjo after sacking vice president's aides so that's the headline buhari denies uh, sidelining oshibanjo after sacking vice president's aides so now let's see now what manner of boju boju these guys are going to entertain us with this time around. President Mohamedou Buhari has rubbished talks that he had relegated Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo to the background in the running of critical aspects of the country in recent times. The denial came shortly after Buhari approved the sacking of 35 aides of the vice president, senior special assistant to the president on national assembly matters, that is the Senate. Senator Babajide Omawurare on Wednesday in Abuja said that Buhari had not sidelined the vice president by traveling outside the country without transmitting a letter to the national assembly to empower Oshibanjo to act as president whilst he was away. Omar Warare said he has no reason to do so. I don't think there is any way or any manner that the office of the vice president has been relegated. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria can work from anywhere in the world. On Monday, chief of staff to the president, Abba Kiari, had reportedly taken a bill to him to sign in London, attracting criticism from far and near as a way of countering those uh, missiles from enraged citizens national chairman of the all progressive congress adam sosho Mole, on tuesday said that the president could rule from anywhere buhari is currently away in the united kingdom on a private visit a visit observers say is for medical purposes a source in the presidency whilst confirming the sack of Oshibanjo's aides said it is true that many of the vice president's aides were given termination letters last night. However, I cannot confirm the exact number because it was not done in public, but you know it is political. Though both camps continue to deny any rift in their midst, observers maintain that a strong cabal within the presidency was working tirelessly to reduce the influence of Oshibanjo in the Buhari administration. In September, Buhari took away the special intervention programs from the vice president's office and handed it to the newly created Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. The SIP housed the new homegrown school feeding program, government economic empowerment program, and power and trader money with an annual budgetary vote of 500 billion naira so a 500 billion naira budget has effectively been taken away from yemi oshibanjo and handed over to abba Kwari effectively is what we are really saying because if we boil it all down and condense it to one singular sentence that is exactly the sentence that would sum it up so a budget of well in excess of 500 billion naira that was under the expert supervision and the thorough supervision and the forensic supervision of yemi oshibanjo a man of learning has been taken away from him and handed over effectively to people that are under the supervision of Abakwari effectively so an unelected shadowy figure is now in, in direct supervision of well in excess of 500 billion naira of nigeria's money and this is the game now that is being played now within that aso rock quarters so now this is now the life and times of um yemi oshibanjo he's been completely stripped bare and stripped naked and the whole purpose that he now serves is now just to go around to events and blow big grammar and make big speeches and this is really all that is left for him to do now for the next four years that is all they require him to do to go around and represent and look 
pretty. So the bobrisification of Yemi Oshibanjo continues. This guy continues to be bobriskified in the public space. He's been stripped bare and dressed in women's clothing. Effectively is what is now happening to Yemi Oshibanjo. Put me in a pink tutu and call me Fifi is now really the reference point for the vice president of Nigeria now who is now being turned into a lady type person. Conversations in the comment section. Come tell me what you're now making of this now show of shame that we're seeing in the corridors of power of Nigeria with the vice president of the country, the second citizen, being stripped bare and debased in this public manner that we're seeing by unelected entities within that corridor of power. Let's have a conversation about this. So click on subscribe, then come join me in the comment section. Let's see what we're making of all this. Uh, let's come to an agreed position together. So I'll leave you here. Join me in the comment section. But here I say peace.